Hey folks, it's Erin Lundy again. I am a physical therapist with Milestone Therapy, Inc. And I was going to go over today with some parents about some techniques that I think are really effective in treating hitching or hitch crawling. Um, and I'll show you basically what it looks like. But it's basically like normal crawling, but they can set up the kid with all their legs underneath them. They pop the one leg out to the side. So in a nutshell, rather than crawling like this, the kid crawls like this. And I had one dad tell me one time, he goes, oh my gosh, I think my kid looks like the lady from The Grudge and I can't unsee it now, so thanks for that. Um, so basically the gist about why kids typically hitch is because they have weaker cores, uh, meaning like their, their ab muscles, their back muscles, and their on their hip muscles are a little bit weaker than what we would like. Um, so there are definitely some three major techniques that I really like to use to kind of help address all of those things. So my demo for today is Miss Raggedy Ann. Um, she's going to be my baby trying to hitch today. So um, first technique that we're going to use is um, I call it facilitation or blocking. So um, whenever you see the kid starting to hitch, stick their leg out to the side with an open palm, you just very gently want to swoop their leg back in. It's not pushing, it's not forceful, it's just basically guiding their foot. So I'm going to turn this down this way, okay? So let's pretend this is your kid that is trying to hitch. And so you can kind of see popping the leg up to the side, trying to go, this is how they crawl. So what I'm going to do is just push in. Let's see if I can do it this way. So leg coming out to the side, push in. Leg coming out to the side, push in. And um, for some of the kids that I've worked with, like it really doesn't, like they're very inconsistent with which leg they use to pop off to the side. So, you know, you can just be on the guard for that. So what I'll do is I'll get behind the kids and I'll scoot along the floor with them as they're crawling. So, so you like they're crawling like this, stick it up to the side, push it in. Crawling, stick it up to the side over here, push it in. And, um, again, it's not really a push. It's just more of like a facilitated swoop. So, um, and that's one technique. And so what we're working on there is trying to get the repetition with a motor planning pattern. Um, the more repetition, the more practice that they get doing this, the more second nature it becomes and they realize how much more efficient it is. So, but however, some things to be aware of, uh, like I said, part of the reason why they're hitching is because they have weaker core muscles. So with that, if you're pushing them into the quadruped position that, you know, hands and knees position, they might face plant a little bit. So, <laughs> um, it's very gentle. It's, I mean, obviously they're very close to the ground, so it doesn't really, you know, it's not going to cause any major damage, but, um, just be aware that that might, you might get some upset with that. So sometimes you also throw them a bow and let them hitch for a little bit and then push them back into it. Um, so just something to, to think about too, because again, um, with having a weaker core, it's harder to hold this position. So, um, now that said with a weaker core, um, another activity that I like for parents to do with their kids at home is just basically doing sit-ups and kids think this is so much fun. Um, so what I'll have them do is like the kids will grasp around their thumbs. Okay. Pretend Miss Raggy is doing that. <laughs> and, um, so basically you'll have them like, you'll kind of initiate them sit-ups so that way you're letting them know what it is that you want them to do. And then they'll complete the sit-up all the way up. And then, like, you know, you can clap or cheer at the top whenever they get up. And um, so that way it's, like, really exciting for them. And then um, they'll lean back down. Um, something to be aware of as well is that sometimes kids get so excited for this that when they're ready to, like, lay back down for the next round, they whack their head back here. So it might be a good idea to have a pillow or do this on the carpet or even just kind of have your head hand behind their head just to kind of help them slowly lower back down. Um, so you can do this. I mean, I always just say, like, maybe up to 10 times. So that's about, like, as long as you can get for um, their attention span. And also it's a really good way to get muscle activation for that amount of duration. Um, so that's number two. And number three is I like to use my physio ball. So um, if you don't have one of these at home, you can always use a pillow or like stack up some throw pillows to kind of make it a little bit uneven. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll have Miss Raggedy Ann sit on here. So um, what, what I like a lot of kids like to do, especially if they have sensory needs is that they really like to bounce on here. So I start to start off getting them comfortable, letting them know that they're safe and protected and supporting and we just bounce. 
So again, you can do this with stacked up pillows as well. It's really not, not hard to do. Um, but what I'm going to start initiating is some perturbations and some weight shifting. So that causes them to increase their core um, muscle activation as well. So be bouncing and hanging out, and suddenly I'll roll them to the back. Again, not letting them fall, letting them know they're feeling safe, but it's a reflex to kick in and try to push yourself forward. So then you're like, okay, good. And then sometimes I'll go to this side, and then they kick in, go back that way, and then I'll lean to this side, and then they're like, no, and they lean back in this way. So, um, and we just, you know, we can go as long as they can tolerate, and it, typically they think it's pretty fun. And, like, you can sing songs, and, again, you can distract them to, like, not let them know that they're doing work. <laughs> they're having fun. Um and so these are just some like really great things you can do with your kids on a daily basis. Um, I've had a lot of parents with like immediate success right away with just these three techniques. And so I fully believe them. And so anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Good luck. Thanks.